All right, what is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a LG monitor, but not one, but two LG ultra wide monitors. No, this is not a sponsored video. Um, both these monitors were actually on sale on Costco.com and I thought they would be a pretty good deal. One of them was $100 off and I'm just trying to upgrade my workflow as well. Um, so please do not take this video as a professional trying to give you information on making a purchase decision. This is just gonna be my first impressions on what I like versus the 2020 model and then the 2019 model. So let's start off with the 2020 model first and see how much better I'll like it than the 2019 version potentially. So unfortunately there's not gonna be any overhead camera. Um, <laughs> I don't have something that is uh, high enough for this. Also, I can't record on my old setup as well because the table is just way too small. Um, so I have to use my uh, kitchen island. So I, I did a pretty bad job on telling you guys what monitor this is. So this is the 35WN65C. Um, yeah, that's the name of the LG monitor. Um, so it looks like we get an HDMI cable. Uh, we have a DisplayPort cable. We also have a clip that seems to, I guess, keep your cables together or something for the back of the monitor. Um, a black power adapter, which I like because my other one is white. And then it looks like we have a USB-C to a, I have no idea what port this is. I'll show you guys on camera. Does anyone know what port this is? But regardless, you get it in the box. By the way, it is curved, or as other languages say, Monitor LG Ultra Wide Curvo, or I think this is Montier Ultra Wide in, in Curve de LG. L, LG Ultra Wide Monitor Curve. That's my, my first and primary language. Did I unbox this upside down? No way. Oh, so this is the stand. I'm pretty familiar with this. This is on my uh, 4K monitor. Ooh, look at the bad boy. Look at this pole. Oh boy. Well, let's get the monitor out. All right, let's uh, lift this bad boy out. Voila. Smells like plastic pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and get all this other stuff off. Pretty sure this can just clip in the back like so. Yes, sir, this is a nice and sturdy pole. Let me show you guys the IO. This is a crazy huge monitor. Uh, I'll probably zoom in for you guys so I don't have to like move the camera. So we have two 3.0 USB ports, one 3.0 port, which is upstream, which is I believe that square block, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPoint 1.4, and an audio jack. Nice. Wow. <laughs> this is nuts. This is nuts. Make sure to use supplied whatever. This, this is an LG cable for my other monitor. Um, let me um, just open up Google real quick. Holy smokes. Look how big this is. <laughs> okay, this is this is really what I got it for, guys. Let me open up Visual Studio Code. <laughs> yes. This is it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is perfect. This is so much screen real estate. Wow, this is, this might be a keep. All right, let me open up the settings real quick and look at the display. 60 Hertz, I thought this was 100. Blay, oh, never mind, 120. I'm lying. Oh, wow. Now this is butter. This is buta. Holy smokes. This is so smooth. What a monitor. What a, a monitor. This, I feel like I can get so much work done. Let me open up Final Cut Pro. Um, all my stuff is done through an external, so I can't really see what projects are gonna look like, but I can tell. This is usually what I worked with back in the day. 
Um, maybe I can open one of these. Drag this here. Wow, look how big this is. What is the new outro? Here we go, new outro. Look at this. I can get so much work done. Next, I'm going to unbox the 2019 model and see how it compares in terms of how it looks. So this is the uh, 2019 version. So we get a, looks like the old school style of a uh, monitor adapter where it's like a brick instead of it being built into the actual um, plug itself. And then we get a HDMI cable and some screws. I'm guessing that's for maybe if you want to vase mount it. Um, although vase mount screws are not that small. So this one is an inch smaller. What the heck was that? I thought something broke. Definitely feels more old school. Definitely feels more 2019. In terms of the back. <clears throat> Ooh, even the front. The fronts are about the same, honestly. This is what I, uh, this is what I mean. Let me show you guys the back. How do I mount this? I have to screw it in. Are you serious, LG? Oh, I have to take all this off. Um, LG, I don't know how I feel about this. Are there any washers? LG, what the heck, man? Okay, downside already, you give me four screws instead of five in case I lose one. Get off my finger. I need a screw, but to be honest, this is what a knife is for. This is gonna go down as the uh, weirdest unboxing on this channel. Ouch, I got shocked. This monitor does not like me. All right, let's bring out the dock. A new external port has been, ooh, I like the nub of this one too. Moment of truth. We have power. I will say the colors to me look more rich. Uh, let me actually switch this to vivid. The nub is also way more easier to control. Oh, this looks so much better. Oh, with HDR effect, ah, it looks a little bit over sharpened. All right, so this one is also, so this one actually has 1 billion color depth. So that was right, five millisecond response time. Um, 21 by nine aspect ratio, 3440 by 1440. Um, has anti-glare, I can definitely see that with the ISP, or ISP, IPS panel. Um, AMD free sync, color weakness, dynamic action sync, flinker safe, reader mode, HDMR, HDMR, HDR dual controller. Um, there's no built-in speaker, unfortunately. Um, looks like it's a 100 by 100 millimeter vase amount. Let me go get the other monitor real quick and see what it looks like one last time. This one looks really good though. Like Siri has never looked so, so rich in color. This monitor also wobbles a lot. Not a fan of that. Oh, it does adjust up and down. Tilt. Oh my God, the MacBook. <laughs> this MacBook has been through so much pain on this channel. So it tilts. Doesn't rotate, unfortunately. It's also like really wobbly, but it's not gonna be moving most of the time. God, this thing goes up a lot. <sighs> this one is nice. I love this one. Yeah, this is, um, this is not the same. This, this looks worse in person. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to color calibrate it, but this looks considerably worse than the other one. Even with HDR effect, it looks horrible. It's just so, there's so much like a white cast over it. This photo looks good. By like, if I'm just comparing this monitor by itself, it looks good without a doubt. And no, this is not me. <laughs> I just found this photo online and it has a lot of color and vibrancy. Um, yeah, this looks really good. All right, now looking at this photo here, listen, I have no idea who this woman is. I just found it online, some random photo. It just looks like it has a lot of color. So I'm trying to compare. This photo looks good on this monitor, without a doubt. 
Um, but now what I want to do is get the other monitor and see the differences because I mean this is a nice photo but I feel like the other one is better substantially oh god it looks so much better on this monitor so much better it's not even close I think it's the IPS panel and I think the color depth really does bring out the colors like wow this is so much better than the other one. So much better than the other one. Let me go up here. Wow. This is so much better than the other one. It's not even close. Like even the bar for dark mode on macOS looks way better on this monitor. It's not even close. It's not even close. It's not even close. Look, look at her lips. Look at the redness. It's kind of like pink actually on the bottom, but the top one is definitely red. And then even this orange hue casted on her on the right hand side. It's it's just more. What's that word I'm looking for? There's just more contrast. Um, way better. Way better. Way better. Way better. Let me get the other monitor. One more time. One last time. Yeah, it's, dude, it's not close at all. Oh my gosh, it's not close at all. It's not close at all, it's so white. Okay, they're saying use the cables provided by them? Okay, okay. Well, LG, I'm actually going to use the cable that you, uh, you provide, okay? Just so you can leave me alone. Let's, let's look at her lips again. Let me zoom in real quick again. This just looks red. Before, it looked pink and red. It's not even close, guys. I'm telling you, I'm gonna switch this cable with the one that they provided. It's going to be exactly the same. It still looks the same. It even shows the message again. Caution, make sure to use the supplied input cables. I am. This, this looks the same. The other one looks so so much better, so much better, so much better. The other one is so much better, hands down. This one is not even close. Hmm, now it's tough. Now it's tough. God, it's been an hour in this unboxing. I can't make a decision. Actually, let me get the other one. Why is it tilted like this? Look how much color there is in this photo, guys. Look. It's. <laughs> this is so much better. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. This is so much better. I don't even care about having 100 hertz. This is so much better. So much better. Look at the detail. Look at the Wow, this is so much better. 2021, you may have more features, but in terms of quality in the picture, this is way better. This is way better. Look how, let me change the profile real quick. Let me go to custom, the one that came out of the box. It's a little bit darker. That's all it really is, vivid, pops this thing out. HDR effect. Wow. Wow. Cinema looks good too. Cinema is what the other one looks like. What is color weakness? Uh, yeah, don't ever do that again. I think this is my monitor. I think this is my monitor. <laughs> Let me move this over to the side. This might be my monitor. This is so good. All right, guys, this uh, video has almost been an hour long. This is my longest video I've ever recorded, period. All right, so uh, this is the LG 2019. I'll have it somewhere on the screen versus the LG 2020 Ultra Wide from Costco. Um, personally, 2019 model looks better. Um, unless you really care about the features that the 2020 model has, like the 100 hertz, 
um, the USB on the back, then I mean, be LG's guess, but personally, I think the 2019 model is superior. And it's IPS as well. God, this is a beautiful photo. Anyway, guys, this wraps up my unboxing of the LG monitors. Probably post on social media which one I end up getting. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing video. And as always, guys, much love.